Hello, my name is Sam Sloan. I've been doing lots of little mini tutorial videos over the last few weeks and months, just kind of showing how to use Zoom and things like Jamboard and get interactions and just keep people engaged in either online sessions or meetings or even online training, of course. Uh, so what I thought I would show, show you this evening is a couple of things that we can kind of use together. Breakout rooms, of course, really interactive. You know the learners love them as well but how is it that we can use Jamboard in a breakout room so I thought I would share this with you so let's just start then from scratch and let's actually set the breakout room assignment let me just move that across uh, so let's just assign ZZ Sam because I've got two participants in here with me well just two machines if we're being honest ZZ Sam is one of them and let's assign ZZ Fred into the other. I don't want to open the breakout rooms just at the moment because if I was going to complete a task with them I'd have to tell the learners what it was that they were going to do first. So let me just share my screen. There we go. So I'll just pop on the little video uh, just in the corner as well just so we can carry on. Um, well at least you can see me talking. So let's just say then this activity here is what I want my learners to do when they are in the breakout room. So what activities can you do in breakouts or in online classrooms to create creativity, discussion and engagement? And I want them to do that on a Jamboard. So I'm going to explain to them, first of all, what it is that I would like them to do. But what I need to do first is actually explain exactly what it is that they need to do when they're in there. So if I go from the slide, directly from the slide, straight into a new share, which is actually... Let's just say we were on this particular Jamboard. I was just on something else, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. So I've gone straight into the Jamboard, which is already open. I've already created it. I've put in a little slide, which you've probably just noticed is exactly the same little screenshot, which I've just literally control and see, control and feed straight into here. So they can actually see the question when they get in here. But I've actually created some other slides as well in here. So... The next slide that we could use if you wanted to to get the learners to kind of create and write on them uh, is on slide number two. We can see up here, same question. Uh, and then as we move through things like, I don't know, send them off to a website to do something, for instance, get them to watch a video on YouTube. You can put a QR code in that they can click, uh, get them to do yes and no, that type of thing, or even get them to list things in here as well but I'm going to need some learners in here so I'm going to explain to them first of all what it is that we need to do so I'm going to share the link you don't necessarily have to show them that you're doing this so I'm going to take it from viewer to editor and then I'm going to copy that link that's done and then I can actually open chat there it is I was going to say I'd lost it for a second and I can paste it into chat for my learners and I can send that away and they will then be able to obviously join that Jamboard. So I'm just going to get both of them to do exactly that. It's just to click on that link and if I stay in this Jamboard here but just drop that down as well you'll be able to see as the learners join in just a moment uh, them physically coming into the session. So I'm just going to get ZZ Sam to join the Jamboard and she should now be coming in and we'll be able to see her little icon uh, connect in just a second or two and we'll also get uh, ZZ Fred to do exactly the same as well so they're just literally clicking on that link that is in chat and they're going to join that Jamboard as well so they're both beginning to come in now Okay, so we can see that we've got two participants here. As we've said before, it kind of names them uh, separately as well. Now, I could actually tell them before I send them in which Jamboard I want them to go and visit. So I could say, I don't know, ZZ Fred, why don't you go and visit uh, Jamboard number one, that particular um, board, if you like, number one. And I could tell ZZ Sam to go and visit board number two. Now, the way I can tell where people are I can see that everybody at the moment is on board number one. So if I get ZZ Sam to move across to board number two, 
we'll see her little icon start to move over. And if I also get ZZ Fred to do exactly the same thing, let's just move ZZ Fred just a little bit further across, I can also get him to move over as well. And I can see exactly where each person is. So depending on the tasks that I'm actually setting for them, I can set them up beforehand. I don't necessarily need to go and join them in the breakout rooms or even in the jam boards. I can actually do it from here. So let's just say then I went into stop share just for a moment. I then want my learners to go into that breakout room. They're already logged in, but I want them now to actually go off into their teams. It's obviously unlikely you're going to have one person in each breakout room specifically. So I'm going to go into breakout rooms. I've already assigned each person to each breakout room and I'm now going to press start breakouts. So the learners now will go off into their separate breakout rooms and they'll be able to complete the task, whatever it is that I've asked them to do once they get in there. If I wanted to go and join the learners, I can do that. I can simply click join and I can either go and join so that I'm in breakout room number one or of course I could go and join Fred in breakout room number two. But I don't necessarily need to do that. I can even shut that down. I can just simply go back into the helicopter view of Jamboard and see where they are. So let's just say we were on to, I wanted to see what ZZ Fred was doing in this particular breakout room. He might have already started putting up some, I don't know, little post-it notes with some ideas, etc. if he was having a look around a website for instance, and that was maybe his task. But what I can also do, because now they're in a breakout room, if I send them a message, just like I could broadcast a message to say, I don't know, five minutes uh, remaining or five minutes gone, for instance, whatever it is, they're not necessarily going to see that message. Even if I broadcasted it, they may not notice it because they're actually in the Jamboard. So they're not necessarily going to see that message. So how else is it that I can do that? So if I've got the helicopter view here in the Jamboard and I want to tell Fred, well, why don't I just create a sticky note? I could create one that says, I don't know, five minutes gone, Fred. And I can save that and I can actually blow that up to let him know that five minutes have gone and how long he's got, let's just say he had 10 minutes. But I can actually just delete that and then I can move back to the board where the other two guys are and I can do exactly the same. I could uh, go into the breakout room if I physically wanted to speak to them, but I can also make little uh, notes like that with them uh, just to kind of give them the heads up as to where they are certainly within a time frame because set I would always say set really specific time frames in a breakout room and try if you can not to kind of extend them too much as well but I've just set just lots of different tasks in here just for the learners to do it's the same question just different things you know you may want them to just write little post-it notes or put pictures in here uh, for instance again they can type so they can actually physically type type in the uh, Jamboard now rather than actually just use the sticky notes just like they could previously. You could get them, like I said, with a QR code, get them to scan uh, a website, I don't know, critique the website or something or get them to do a specific task uh, around that particular website. You could also maybe get them to go and visit YouTube, for instance, to, I don't know, maybe watch a video and then share their thoughts. You could do a yes or no what should, you know sort of do you agree with this do you not agree and then put up their responses and answers or of course things like you know list the activities in a list format and you're back down to maybe just simply being able to list and type in that way now of course when um you physically have the option of being able to actually join uh, that jam board etc. You just need to give them specific direction on what it is that they need to do. Now, when I want to actually bring them back out of the breakout rooms, again, I could put in a little uh, breakouts finish or something like that. Breakouts are going to finish, which is absolutely cool. I could save that. And then, of course, they will know that the breakouts are about to finish. I can just simply delete that. And then they know that they're ready to come back in.
So when we want to go back into the main meeting room, I'm going to have to end the breakout rooms, which of course I have already started, uh, I don't know, let's just say 10 minutes ago for arguing's sake. So I'm going to then close all of the rooms. We'll see ZZ Sam and ZZ Fred come back. They've completed their tasks. I've been observing them from a helicopter perspective. I've not even necessarily had to go and visit them in that room, like I've mentioned before. And that works really well. I've done this now on many occasions and it really does work well, especially being able to sort of add the little notes. So as soon as, uh, let's just say, says that Freddie's going to uh, talk through his work on the particular Jamboard, I just simply go back to share screen, go back to the Jamboard, and then just share his work and he can talk us through whatever whatever it is he's done or of course he could share his screen as well whichever way it is that you want to do it but even so it's a lovely way of using them with breakout rooms it's really simple it's really succinct and i think because you can actually see where each of the learners are as well it just works really really simply uh, and you can have up to, I know I've mentioned this before in the Jamboards, you can have up to 20 boards, which I think is really helpful. And of course, once they've finished it, you can even download it as a PDF and send it out afterwards so the learners have a reference point of their work that they have completed in those breakout rooms as well. And that's just simply up to the top, download as a PDF. So like I've said, you've got up to 20 boards there. So that's one way that you can actually do it. But other things that you can do as well in a breakout room. So if I just go back to stop share, let's just say we were going to consolidate this particular activity that we were talking about just a few moments ago. Um, this video is going to probably keep disappearing because I'm clicking on the slide. Um, th this is just an exact replica in the breakout room of what it is that we were just talking about just a few moments ago. Um, this is, again, just an, an exact rep replica of the slide that I've just popped into the Jamboard. But th things to consolidate, you can you know watch a video, you can get them to do a post-it note, frequently ask questions, they could introduce each other, you've got team collaboration, you could get them doing a quiz, uh, you know, brainstorming, uh, sharing data, you know, telling stories, get them to be really creative. There's so many different things that you can do. But one of the other things that I have just found as well is Poll Everywhere, which I've uh, just shared a video just a few days ago. Um, and there's something else that they can actually do on here as well. You can embed this into a slide. This is actually in the slide. So even when I want to kind of share this, I can do it live from the slide, which I just think is awesome. Uh, so let me just come out of uh, that just for a second because I just need to make it... Just stop share just for a second because I just need to make it um, live so we can actually use it. Oh, it's already activated. It's all right. I, I thought I hadn't activated it, but I already have. I should just trust myself that I've already done it. So this is actually a live word cloud now, which I've uh, given ZZ Sam the poll ev.com. 123 people dev 000 code at the top and now sam can create this poll live this is something else that she could do in a breakout room if that's what you wanted them to do they could just collaborate and then when everybody comes back together then not everybody can see what it is that they've been sharing in those breakout rooms and then you'd be able to see uh the group collective uh answers if you like uh, which i always think is uh, quite a nice uh, way of doing it so you just pop things into chat and then of course when you bring them all back together and consolidate for instance then they can see what everybody else in the group has actually said I think that could work really well as well and that is live it's actually just embedded onto a slide which is I, I think is so uh, cool so that's your poll everywhere that's your jam board how to use them into, into the breakouts use it as a helicopter view I just think it works really really well as well Feel free to have a go. I'm just going to go stop into share now. Uh, feel free to have a go. Subscribe to my channel when I upload things. You'll then get a notification. Uh, and please comment below as well, either on uh, LinkedIn, if you've seen the post on LinkedIn, or of course, if you've seen it on YouTube, let me know how you get on. I love it when people tell me or ask me something uh, additional or tell me how things went. I get so many messages of people that have had a go to sort of share successes, which is superb. Thanks for listening. Have a fantastic day.